Under their new Russian owner, TVR claim that these two new models come with improved build quality. And at first glance, it's very easy to be overwhelmed by the sensational design and craftsmanship. The one thing I want from a TVR is an exciting drive. But the big question is, has all this new found attention to detail steamrolled out the raw driving pleasure? Well, there's only one way to find out. But before I begin, I need a sexy assistant. Hello, Jason. <laughs> it's me. Right, so, the new Cigaris. First impressions. Well, the chassis is pretty good, I have to say. The steering is very direct. It's, uh, the car tells you exactly what's going on. It's a bit tail happy in the slower corners. Well, there you go. But quite controllable. <laughs> this Tuscan is exactly what a TVR should be. A big, fat load of grunt, a noisy engine, all strapped to a rear-wheel drive chassis. However, it really does need some muscle to drive it. Every time the car moves direction, there's a lot of body roll, so you can really feel a lot of weight slinging from one side to the other. Also, the pedals have got an incredibly long movement to them. And to engage the clutch, you really have to sort of almost travel down from the steering column all the way down to the headlamps is how it feels. I'm pleased to say then that this Tuscan 2 still manages to capture the full-on raw essence of TVR. So has the new TVR under Russian control sorted out its build quality problems? Well, I'd have to say I'm not too sure because this morning I jumped in this car and after a few laps, a black box under the dashboard came loose. Also looked down into the passenger side and the carpet's come off the underside of the dashboard. Not good. But at the end of the day, you know, for me, a TVR is not an everyday car. It's a second car. And, uh, you know, it's all about raw driving pleasure. They're great fun to be in. Um, they've got great engines. But it's an everyday car to live with. No, not for me, I'm afraid. So, despite the Russian takeover, it's business as usual. They're still a bit too hardcore for everyday use, but there's nothing quite like a TVR for stirring the blood. 